Okay. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shah, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shah, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shah, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shah. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka Kwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation, you Akim out there that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, I want to do a response video on Apostle Tahar's video. It says, um, demon boxes and witch boards, you know? So, I have a testimony, you know, in dealing with that right there, man. Because, hey, this is in my early years, in, in the 90s, around 94, 95, I ran into a female, some Dominican female that was working in the Botanica. But I didn't know at the time she was working in the Botanica. But I met her in the club. See, at the time, I used to go, I used to club a lot, the tunnel, you know. We used to go to the tunnel a lot. We used to go to a lot of strip clubs. You know, this is in the early 90s when that thing, when them things was popping. So I ran the courses, so I met some Dominican chick. And um, like I said, I was 20, either 20 or 21. Because this had to be either 94 or the end of 94, the beginning of 95, where I met this female. And she was a Dominican chick, so she invited me to her house. And, um, you know, lo and behold, you know, I'm, hey, shit, I'm thinking I'm going to get some buns. I shoot over to her crib. I jump into my ride, shoot over to her crib. But I was expecting to get buns, but it was not when I went over there. Everything was not what I expected because she had some tabloid cards laid out. And I didn't know what the hell that shit was. And she was on some real, oh, my grandma, she liked to read palms. Would you like to have your palms read? So I'm like, you know, I don't know nothing about that. But I do know this from watching horror movies with my moms that that shit ain't right. Because my moms is a big horror, horror flick, you know, fan. So in, in, in a lot of them horror flicks, I saw a lot of that terror card reading and palm reading. So I knew something wasn't right. So I'm like, nah, I'm yeah, I ain't with that. You know, chill, nah, I ain't come over for that. Oh, no, it's nothing. She could read your palms. She could tell you what's, what's going to happen, you know, in your future. I said, nah, it was meant for me to know my future. And I ain't know nothing, man. But I just bl I blurred this out. If it was meant for me to know my future, it would have been revealed to me already. I would know. But I don't want to know my future. It's certain things that I don't want to know. So I'm going to just chill. You know, so she chilled with the palm reading. So we watching a movie. I'm thinking, okay, I got that out the way. I still got buns on my mind being simple-minded. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm in a crib, drinking me a Heineken, watching a movie. Then she got some cards in her hand, shuffling the cards. So I'm like, yo, okay, I'm not paying no mind, you know? Then she pull out some fucking cards and shit. It got... Bones and angels and you know, death angels and wind reapers on it. I'm looking like, what the fuck she playing? Because she's playing it by herself at first. Setting them out. And then she was like, you know, um, have you heard of turbo card reading? So I was like, um, nah. But I seen it in movies. But I ain't tell her that though. I'm like, nah. I mean, I don't even know what that's about. Oh, so I could read your future through turbo cards. So I was like, nah, I'm not into that, you know. So... Now, my whole mind is like racing, saying, telling me in my spirit, that voice in my head saying, yo, look, get the fuck out of here, man. This, this bitch is fucking crazy, man. So, but another part of me is like, damn, home, yo, sweetie, is gorgeous. I want to stay here. You know, I'm fucking young, 20, 21, you know, not thinking straight. But a big part of me want to get the hell out of there because at first she had a grandmother in the back, trying to get her to get my, to read my palms. Then, when I refused that, about a 20 minutes, half an hour later, she come out with some tubway cards. Now, mind you, this is a young Dominican chick. 
that I met at a goddamn club at the tunnel. I'm thinking everything is hunky dory, everything is this. We're going to chill. We're going to we're going to do our thing. We're going to hang out. But she had a different agenda. Her agenda was to get me into that goddamn spiritualism shit that she was into, and her mother was into, and her grandmother was into. But I wasn't into that, man. So what I did was, after she um, approached me with the tarot cards, I got up. I said, you know what? You know, I got up. I said, I gotta go. You know, I, you know, I didn't come in for that. No, no, you don't gotta go. No, we can chill. You know, I ain't, I ain't coming for that. So my whole thing was to get the hell away from this chick. Because I watched, like I said, I ain't know too much about that, but I watch a lot of horror movies, and I've seen a lot of that shit in them horror movies, and they shit didn't come up to no good. So I was like, I'm getting out of here. So I broke out. You know, the later one in life, you know, when I was like, this is in 96, when I was 22, I ran across it again. You know, whereas, you know, my grandmother, from my mother's side, I found out that she was heavy into tarot card reading and she was heavy into doing like um, seances. That she called it. Seances where they turn the lights out and you got people in the dark and they holding hands and doing dumb shit. I found that out. So I'm like, whoa, so in my spirit, I never was close to my mother, to my grandmother on my mother's side because of the things she used to do, how she used to treat me. So when I found that out, I stood away from her. But I ran a, but I had happened to run across her doing that for my cousin Keisha. She told me this. So I was like, oh, kind of shook it up, like, oh shit. So now here it is, years later. I run across the truth. And there's scriptures in Leviticus that goes into such things, indulging in such things like that, that it's abomination unto the Lord. Like I said, I ain't know nothing about that. I didn't indulge myself into it. But Satan is a Satan is Satan, man. These demons work, man. Because these demons working through this beautiful Dominican chick that I met when I was 20. 20, 21, 20 or 21, this is 94 or 95, you know, going to clubs. So I met a Dominican chick and she, I, she invited me to her house. I'm thinking I'm getting buns. This bitch trying to read my palms, trying to get her grandmother to read my palms. Also, with this temporary card shit. Man, I got the fuck out of there, man. That's man, fuck you and your temporary cards. And I broke out, you know. So now, me being in this truth, and the apostle to her bringing that out about spirit, about demon boxes and, and witch boards, which is a Ouija boards. Hey, I kind of experienced somebody trying to get me into that, and I gave you my testimony. Now, I'm going to break out some scriptures to prove that that shit is wicked and it's an abomination, and don't deal with it because them demons will try to cling on to you, man. Them demons will fuck with you. Hey, this is Leviticus chapter. 19 verse 26 it says it says ye shall not eat anything with the blood meaning eating medium rare food man you must have thoroughly cook your food not eat food that has blood in it man because blood is the life of that animal man you should not eat that you see what i'm saying Esau is heavy into eating medium rare foods, man. Where the blood is coming out of them, man. Half cooked or, or barely cooked food. I'm not into that shit, man. And no Jake in the spirit is going to eat no food half cooked, man. Leviticus 19 verse 26. Ye shall not eat any thing with the blood, neither shall ye use enchantments nor observe times. And that's exactly what that chick that I met in, 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 19, in 1994 in a club. Her name was Diana. I never forget this fucking bitch, man. Because she tried to get me to do wickedness, man. And I stood far away from her, man. And she was real pretty, man. 
So I'm thinking I'm going to the house to get some buns, and this bitch trying to read my, get a grandma to read my palms, and also to, you know, use tarot right cards on me, man. I ain't with that shit. I was not even with that, man. Like I said, I ain't know nothing about that, but I used to watch a lot of horror flicks with my mom's growing up, and I know, because in them horror flicks, it was, it was showing certain shit with tarot right cards and all that, man. I knew that shit was up to no good, man, so I fled, man. And that, that was a spirit, man. Me knowing what I know now, that was a spirit, man, that got me away from that woman, man. Or that young female. You know? So it says, um, back in Leviticus chapter 19, verse 26, ye shall not eat anything with the blood, uncooked food, half, um, you know, Esau a dough, a burger on the grill for two seconds on one side, and number two seconds on the other side, you take it off, you bust it down. Or here, dough some. A steak on the grill for two or three seconds, turn it around on the other side for two or three seconds and take off his plate and take it, put it on his plate and bust it down. That's uncooked food, man. Food with the blood in it, man. Medium rare food. You never say eat that. Nor are you supposed to consult with familiar spirits. It says, Neither shall ye use enchantments nor observe the times. Dealing with that witchcraft shit, man. Terror card reading, palm reading. It's all wickedness, man. I'm going to jump down from Leviticus 19, 26 to Leviticus 19 and 31. It says, Regard not them that have familiar spirits. And like I said, in 1995, I, ran, I had found out when I was 22, 1996, I was 22, around that time, I found out that my grandmother was into that seance shit, man. She's dead now, you know? But my grandmother on my mother's side, I found out that she was in some seance shit through my cousins and my uncles, they told me. You understand what I'm saying? So I was kind of like, whoa. And I didn't like how she treat me, and she was mean, so I should stay away from her. But when I found that shit out, I was a grown man now. I had I ain't had to worry about going over to my grandma's house after school now and enduring her bullshit. Cause now I'm a grown man. I'm in my I'm 22 now. I ain't gotta go over there. So I avoided her totally, man. And I ain't seen my grandmother till the day she died, man. And my grandmother died a couple of years ago in her 80s. I haven't seen her from that time when I was in my early 20s. When I found out. That she was into seances and witchcraft up until the time she died, man. I have never had no dealings with her no more. You understand what I'm saying? Leviticus chapter 19, verse 20, verse 31. Regard not them that have familiar, have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your power. You know, because, hey man. Consulting with a person that has a familiar spirit, one that is a ventriloquist. Because them demons needs a vessel. And the vessel, the body, is the person that's conjuring them demons up. It's called ventriloquism. You understand what I'm saying? The demon needs a body. So you the so the demon is a ventriloquist, you the dummy. And the demon is speaking through you. Those that consult with familiar spirits. Those that have familiar spirits on them, man. Those that deal with that kind of shit on the left hand side, man. But ultimately, the most sides of the dual nature of the most sides, the most side controls both sides of the spectrum. You see what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna deal with no person that have that kind of shit on them, man. It's called ventriloquism, where the person it's being used as a vessel for them demons. Them demons is using that person as a... The person is the dummy for the demon. The demon is speaking through that person. Consult with a person with a familiar spirit, man. It says... Neither, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord Yahweh, thy power. You're not supposed to have, you're not supposed to have any kind of dealings. With a person that's dealing with seances, 
dealing with tarot card reading, palm reading. Have no dealings with them, man. You know? Um, this is um, Leviticus chapter 20, verse 6. It says, and these, all these scriptures that I'm bringing out is scriptures telling you, warning you with a great admonishment not to deal with people that consult with familiar spirits. Not to get into tarot card reading. Back in the ancient world, it wasn't called Ouija boards. It was called a witch board. You see what I'm saying? Not to deal with people that do that in that is involved with seances, man. Like my grandmother from my mother's side. Once I found out that that bitch was using was into seances, man, and doing all that shit, man, I stood far away from that evil bitch, man. And she's dead now. But guess what? Like I said, man, once I found that out in 1996. When I was 22, I ain't deal with that bitch ever since, man. I ain't go near her, man. I didn't contact her. I didn't do anything, man. And she always was was inquiring about me. But I ain't want nothing to do with that bitch, man. And that's my grandmother. Am I wrong for that? Hell fucking no, man. That was a wicked, evil bitch, man. Doing seances, man. Doing voodoo on fuck. I found out a lot of crazy shit, man. She was just a voodoo. Doing something, having seances, man. Her and her wicked ass friends. Into voodoo. Witchcraft. She was into that wicked shit, man. She think I'm going to have some kind of dinner with a person like that? Hell fucking no, man. I still far away from that bitch, man. And I'm glad she dead. This is Leviticus chapter 20, verse 6. It says, um, And the soul that, um, that turneth after such as have familiar spirits consult with, with witches, wizards, consult with demons, consult with people that, that could conjure up the dead like Nacklemenson, a person that's a knackle mincer, that that conjure that that can soak with the dead, that can conjure up the dead, like the witch of Endor, that 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 that, that brought up Samuel when Saul was in distress, man. What did Saul do? He cursed. What did um Samuel do? He cursed out Saul and told him that him and his sons was gonna be him in the in the spirit world, man. He cursed them out. Wives, that's wicked. Saul was all in distress because he was battling the Philistines and the Mosai turned his back on him, put an evil spirit on him because the, the dual nature of the Mosai, 1 Samuel 16 and 14, the Mosai took the spirit from him and put an evil spirit on Saul, man. You see what I'm saying? So what Saul did, after he put the decree out that anybody that could soul with familiar spirits or witches, they're going to get put to death, man. And what this... And what did Saul do? Saul himself sold it to the with a familiar spirit, a necromancer, a witch that was a necromancer that could conjure up the dead. So what she did was she conjured up Samuel's spirit, man, and Samuel cursed him out. Have no dealings with no person that's involved with that shit, man. This is Leviticus 20, verse 6. It says. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits and after wizards to go a whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul. That's why Samuel told Saul that he's going to get put to death, man, in that battle. A Ram I think it was, no, it was a Ram of Gilead. The, the battle, um, it was a battle that Saul, he died, him and his son Jonathan. I can't forget the battle or the place he got put to death. But Samuel told him that was going to happen to him. Why? Because he consult. Because the Most High wasn't dealing with him anymore. And he consult with a witch to conjure him up, man. And the Most High was sore displeased. And Samuel told him. 
Tomorrow you're going to be with me in the spirit world. You and your sons. It says, I will even set my face against that soul and will cut him off from among his people. And that's exactly what happened with Saul and his sons, man. The most I cut him off from amongst his people, man. And that's exactly what's going to happen to you people that consult with familiar spirits, necromancers, that terror card reading, psychic necros, all that shit is wickedness, man. And the most side said have no dealings with such people that have dealings with familiar spirits, man. Or as used as a vessel for a demon, which is ventriloquism. Yeah, this shit is deep. The most side deals with both sides of the spectrum. And you better believe it. You better believe the most sides of the dual nature of the most side. The most side controls both sides, man. And it's scriptural, man. First Samuel 16 and 14 is enough to explain to you the most side can take the his spirit from you and put an evil spirit on you. Plague your mind, man. Put demons on you. And you don't want that, man. Because it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Most High, man. That's why you should not deal with any witch boards, any demon boxes, consulting with familiar spirits, going to these, these botanicas. Have no dealings with such people like that, man. Stay far the fuck away from them. Because they mean you no good, and they're going to bring you straight to your death, man. Because the Most High is not playing, man. Strict warnings in Leviticus. The Leviticus means the, the book of the law, man. Have no dealings with such people, man. That consult with the dead, man. And consult with demons. And that's scriptural, man. I got a few more scriptures before I close it out. This is, um... I'm going to get that. And I'm going to get, um, this is Exodus chapter 22, verse 18. Uh, this is, um, tw Exodus 22, verse 18. And it says, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. That's why the, that decree was put out there by Saul. When the Most High was dealing with him, he put that decree out there that any man consult with a familiar spirit or a necromancer or any such person that deal with wizardry, conjuring up the dead, that soul that's dealing with that is going to get put to death. Him and the person that's consulting with him is going to get put to death. That's what it says in. Exodus chapter 22 verse um verse 18 it says thou shalt not suffer a witch to live that was the decree that was out there for the most high anybody that was consulted with terror card reading seances naquamensin being a ventriloquist for the demons you must have put that fucking person to death man but in Esau's kingdom is all lawful. Why? Because Esau himself consult with them demons. But guess what? The Most High is allowing Esau to do such things because the Most High controls both sides of the spectrum. The dual nature of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah? Yahweh Shah, man. You understand what I'm saying? Last scripture. Deuteronomy chapter. Um, 18 verse 10 it says there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire hey amen that was something heavy in the ancient world King Manessa was was guilty of such practices following the gods of the Amorites feeding their children to Molech Sacrifice them by putting them in the fire. But nowadays, 
is blood ritual sacrifices and abortions. You see what I'm saying? So there's nothing new under the sun. Ritual sacrifices and abortions, man. I'm going to read it again so you can understand, so you can comprehend what I'm saying. Because a lot of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans are hard of hearing. You can't comprehend too good. So I'm going to read it again. So it can sink into your ears. This is Deuteronomy chapter, chapter um, 18 verse 10. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. Or useth divination or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch. These are laws that forbid a person to do such things, man. To, uh, that forbid a person to practice such things, man. Verse 11. Or a charmer, or a consultant with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a, a or a necromancer. Like I said, a necromancer is one who invokes the dead, who conjures up the dead, man. Like that witch in Endor, the witch of Endor, man. So this was a response to the apostle to Har's video, demon boxes and witch boards, man. Have no dealings with with people that have familiar spirits. Because when you stop playing with them witch boards and them demon boxes, them demons will jump on you, man, and cleave onto you, man. You open up a portal for them demons to fuck with you. That's why I fled that bitch's house in nineteen in 1994, 1995. I think it was 94 or 95 when I was like 20 or 21, man. I fled her house quick, man. I, I, I didn't stay there. Why? Because the spirit kept telling me to leave. And I ain't no shit. I was simple-minded. I ain't no shit. But now that I know the reason why, I kept on getting that thought in my head to leave, man. I'm going to read it again. Deuteronomy 18, verse 10 and 11. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or observer of times, temporary card reading, fortune telling, seances, or enchanters, or a witch. Verse 18, verse 11. Or a charmer, or a consultant with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer, one that invokes the dead, man. Have no dealings with such people. And the Latin tribes are and the Levites are heavy. The Levites or the so the Haitians or the Levites or the so-called Haitians, they are heavy into that shit, man. That's like certain Dominicans, certain Judites. They into that voodoo, Santeria, Buharia, and all that bullshit, man. All that shit is wickedness, man. And the most high gonna deal with you if you indulge in yourself and have some kind of dealings with that wickedness, man. So with that, you know, Abu Ratazai you Aki Mata was edified. Hey, have no dealings with anybody. You meet a female and she's into that shit, man, flee. Far away from her ass, man. Don't be involved with that shit. Stay away from her, man. Because she mean you no harm, bro. So with that, once again, we give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Bakakwadash, and double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutation, you I came out there. That's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. We're in the year of 2019, the year of Karagma. And you better believe Esau, his agenda is to push the offer of the microchip. So with that, it's Shalom.